preoperative assessment. The goal are to reduce the anxiety and educate the patient about anesthesia, to obtain information about patient's medical history, to perform physical examination, to determine which tests are required, to plan anesthetic technique, to obtain informed consent, to give preoperative instructions. Preoperative evaluation is done with History any medical illness in past slash present. History of allergy to any drug. History of medications. History of previous anesthesia. History of personal habits, smoking, alcoholism, or drug abuse. Physical examination. General physical examination, including pulse and blood pressure. Systemic examination of cardiovascular system, respiratory system, hepatic system, nervous system, abdomen, and spine. In respiratory system examination, other than routine assessment, breath holding time should be assessed and every patient. Patient is asked to hold the breath after full inspiration. Normal is more than 25 seconds. 15 to 25. Seconds is borderline. Less than 15 seconds indicates severely diminished cardiorespiratory reserve. Preoperative airway assessment. Airway assessment to rule out difficult airway. It is one of the most important assessments for anesthesiologist. It includes assessment of mouth opening, denture status, and neck movements. Out of the many parameters used for airway assessment malam paddy grading thyromental distance and neck movements are assessed in every case. American Society of Anesthesiologists Physical Status Classification System ASA Class 1 A normal healthy patient example healthy, non-smoking no or minimal alcohol use. ASA class 2 A patient with mild systemic disease example mild diseases only without substantive functional limitations. Examples include, but are not limited to, current smoker, social alcohol drinker, pregnancy, obesity, 30 BMI 40. Well-controlled DM slash HTN, mild lung dice. ASA class 3A patient with severe systemic disease example substantive functional limitations, one or more moderate to severe diseases. Examples include, but are not limited to, poorly controlled DM or HTN, COPD, morbid obesity, BMI 40 active hepatitis, alcohol dependence or abuse, implanted pacemaker, moderate reduction of ejection fraction, ESRD undergoing regularly scheduled dialysis. Premature infant PCA 60 weeks, history, 3 months, of MI, CVA, TIA, or CAD slash stance. ASA class 4A patient with severe systemic disease that is a constant threat to life example examples include, but are not limited to, recent, 3 months, myocardial infarction cerebral vascular accident transient ischemic attack, coronary artery diseases stance, ongoing cardiac ischemia or severe valve dysfunction, severe reduction of ejection fraction, sepsis, Disseminated intravascular, coagulation acute respiratory distress syndrome, or end-stage renal disease not undergoing regularly scheduled dialysis. ASA class 5A moribund patient who is not expected to survive without the operation examples include, but are not limited to, ruptured abdominal thoracic aneurysm. Massive trauma, intracranial bleed with mass effect, ischemic bowel in the face of significant cardiac pathology or multiple organ slash system dysfunction. 
ASA Class 6A declared brain dead patient whose organs are being removed for donor purposes. Thank you for watching.